What's going on guys, it's your boy Mitch R. Kicks, back at y'all with another vid. First and foremost, thanks for joining in and today, that's right, we got another unboxing. Now, this one was long overdue, with plenty of room behind me, I think it was finally time to add a Jordan 9 to the collection. But check it out, before we get started, like always, I want to thank those that are subscribed and have been participating in the comment section below, salute. Welcome back, I greatly appreciate it. Now, if it's your first time watching, consider subscribing to the channel. We welcome all with open arms, turning on those notification bells. That way you know exactly when I'm dropping my next one. And while you at it, go ahead and smash that like button. Let me know everything is good with y'all. What I got today, bam! Air Jordan 9 University Blues on there. These released December 5th for 190 US dollars. With a surprising flex app W on Foot Locker, I must say my luck on these reservations apps hasn't been all that great this year. But luckily for me, these weren't as hype, therefore I was able to secure a easy W. Comment down below, let me know how has your flex experience been? Oh yeah, coming in in a classic black and gray box. Our label reads Air Jordan 9 Retro and our official colorway is white, university blue, black with a size 9.5, my size of course. So as we take a quick first look, comment your initial thoughts about these. I do think they come off quite nicely with the nice subdue NYC colors that really elevate this 9. It's simple but yet pleasant on the eye. Jordan Brand executed this one pretty well and since I'm lacking all 9s, it was a cop. For me. As we all know, Michael Jordan was playing baseball when this silhouette originally dropped in the 93-94 season. And because of that, many have their opinions about the Jordan 9 popularity, which is understandable. With all these upcoming hot releases, I want to know if you guys still went after these or are you saving for something else? Comment down below. So as we dive right into it, we have our midsole that has an interesting black nubuck material that has this glitter-like texture that I'm really actually digging. And right under that, there's this black mat. Even though we have a black against black, I like how both finishes complement each other and add that other dimension to the shoe. And right above that on our upper, it's pretty much made of an average white leather base. A soft mesh tongue against black laces and Air Jordan lettering in University Blue on top of the tongue. We can find nice touches of a University Blue on our lower portion, on our midsole, and flipping to the heel we can find a round Jumpman logo and a very nice 23 stitch thin that comes off clean and uncluttered. And as I flip to our outsoles, we have a white rubber outsole against University Blue Jumpman. And of course, the iconic story of basketball becoming a global game since it provides phrases in different languages. Before I throw these on, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video. But enough all that, time for some on feet and B-roll.
They say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to.